when we may have learnt the uh, mechanical way of counting, but it will not make a lot of sense to us. Since we are used to the decimal system, right? Uh, uh, it's like a language. Every new language that you're learning, you are going to convert it, those words that you learn, into your the language that you know, right? So any non-decimal number, we need to convert it to a decimal number. Only then we understand its interpretation. What does it mean to say, right? So one. 0, 2. 1, 0, 2 would mean different things in an octal system or in a hexadecimal system. They would mean different things, right? Because it's a, like a different language. So you need to convert it. What does it mean in our decimal? Thankfully, this non-decimal to decimal is a very, very easy conversion. And you just need positional values. And what are positional values? Uh, let's take a decimal number. A uh, decimal number, let's say 572.13. Right? Now, uh, this, even when we speak, we say this is 500 when we speak, right? So I'll just be a little quick here. So the value, when we talk about the value of this number, we are saying this five is representing a 10 square, hundreds. The seven is representing a 10, seven into 10 raised to one. This two is representing a 10 raised to zero or the units place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so it is in the first place. It refers till 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that the second one. This is a tens place. You know that you have counted. Uh, this is a side. Uh, the, the left one has gone from 0 to 9, 0 to 9, 0 to 9, 0 to 9. And now we are at the seventh round of it, right? So that's going to be 70. 500. And if we actually continue, do you see this? This this is that positional value that I'm talking about, right? So if we continue this 10 raised to 2, 10 raised to 1, 10 raised to 0, the next one, this digit 1 is nothing but into 10 raised to minus 1. So why even stop? Many people stop with just integral part. You can con continue it with decimal part. This 3 is going to represent 3 into 10 raised to minus 2. So this is what we mean by the positional value. Now, you might end up doing this calculation and you might say this is 500, this is 70, this is 2 into 1, this is 1 by 10 or nothing but 0.1. This is 3 by 100 which is 0 0.03. Remember, but now the moment you do this 5 into 100, or a 10 square is a 100, we have used our decimal knowledge, okay? And so obviously when you add it up, you are going to get 572.13, right? If you add it up, this is a simple addition. Yeah, I can be very kiddish, write it over and over, right? But then I guess you should understand this. So when you add this, you are going to get this number, right? Uh, so if there is a, non-decimal number and uh, let's use three examples very quick quick examples so uh, let's say 5031.24 one and this number is in a base of 8. This is how we write. So this is in a base of 8. We want to convert this number into decimal. All you need to do is assign positional values. Right? So the beginners will work from the decimal point. So most beginners will start from the uh, single unit digit, the so-called unit digit. And that will be 1 into 8 raised to 0. Then the next one will be 3 into 8 raised to 1. 
0 into 8 square and 5 into 8 cube. So all I have done is I have attached a positional value to each of them and then this 2 is going to have a positional value of 8 raised to minus 1. I am writing it this way 1 by 8. 8 raised to minus 1. This 4 will have a positional value of 1 by 8 square. Right? Now, when this number, I repeat students, when this number is converted in base 8, you don't do any of this calculation. You don't say 3 into 8 is 24. 3 into 8 is 24 in our language, in the decimal system. If I want to keep it in base 8, these part that we have written, 8 cube, 8 square, 8 raised to 0, 1 by 8, 1 by 8 square, these are the positional values. So this number is going to be in, oh, this is, let's say this is the differentiator. That's the decimal point, differentiator. To the left of decimal point, the first position to the left of decimal point is 1. The second position is 3. The third position is 0. The fourth position is 5. And to the right of decimal place, the first position is 2 and 4. Obviously, that is how the number is created, right? So, what I'm just trying to tell you is when you do 3 into 824, you have converted it into a decimal. And that is what we had to do. So write the positional value and do calculations as per base 10. Do calculations as per decimal system. When you do calculations as per decimal system, you will get the number in decimal. Hope you got the method. So 8 cube is 512 into 5. 512, yes. 512 into 5. I am doing it in my mind itself. Okay. 500 into 5 is 2560. Okay. 2560. This is going to remain a 0. This is a 24. This will remain a 1. Okay. And do these calculations. 2 by 4, 1 by 2, 1 by 4 is a 0 0.25. This is going to be 64. 4 will cancel it, will become 1 by 16. And 1 by 16 is 1 by 16. 0 0.0625 is 1 by 16. Right? So I need to add them up. And so when I add them up, the number that I'll get, I'm adding it again orally, students. So again, I'm making a separator. This is 25. 25 is added to this. 2585 point. There's a 31. 3125. Hope that's fine. Right? So, quick, let's take another value. 